Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how you can manipulate text files in Linux. So are you ready? Let's get started. Okay. So here in, I'm on my desktop and let me show you just some commands to manipulate text files. So let's for example display the content of this text one file here on my desktop. So in order to see file or display its content, it's pretty easy. You can type just command cat, then the name of your file. So here I want to see text one. As you can see, it contains just a series of numbers, but they are in random order. I can show text two if I want. Same things, it contains just some alphabet but in random order okay so let's say I want to sort to display the contents of this text file but in regular order or in the normal order so you can do that still using the cat command you can just tap cat text one then redirect the output to another command called sort Add as its name implies it will sort the content of my file so if I hit enter as you can see now the number are in the regular or sort order from smaller to bigger one okay I can do that for my text too also and now I have my alphabet okay I can get rid of the cat command and simply use the sort command. So if I type sort text one, it will also display my text file. But you have to keep in mind that the sort command doesn't change the content of the file, it just changes the display. Okay, so if you open your file, your file hasn't changed. Okay, uh, let me just uh, now I want to add, for example, to, to my text to file the line numbers. So in order to display the line numbers, if you remember, my text to contain just an alphabet. Okay, so if I want to display also the line numbers, there is a comment for that called line of numbers, and then you type the name of your text file which is text 2 as you can see now I can see that they have 11 lines so it's pretty also handy command that you can use whenever text file you want another command called WC so if I type WC and my text 2 for example I get a bunch of numbers actually these numbers has a signification. The first one is the number of lines. Okay. The second one here, I have empty line. It doesn't appear here. Normally, I will have 11, but I have 12 because the first line is empty. Okay. The second one is number of single words, and here you can see that I have 11 words, or actually 11 alphabet. And the third one, 23. Is the number of bytes of my file actually okay now let's see for example a very important file in my system which is etc password file so I'll display the content of that file if you know it's a very important file in Linux it has a bunch of information it contains all the teams all the users all the group that I have okay as you can see, it's a delimited file by a column. It has many lines, and each line has many fields, and each field is delimited by a column. For example, if I want just to see the first column on every line on this delimited file, I can use the cat command. So in order to use the cat command, it's pretty easy, cat, then you have minus T, here you have to specify the delimiter which is 
here in my file is the column so I'll type it that minus then F which stands for field so let me just uh, for example display it field 1 which contains actually all my demons and users and I tap just one then the path to my file which is password as you can see now I only have the first column here that is displayed okay if I want to display for example let me return back to my file as you can see here actually the third column in each line contains the user ID so if I want to display for example the users and the user ID of each of them I can do it same command but here I want to display the first column comma then the third column okay and here we go here for example you can see my username which is Amin and my user ID which is 1000 but it's very useful command that you can use in order to see the content of a delimited file so that was just some tips and tricks how to manipulate text in terminal on Linux as always I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing bye bye